Over the course of more than a century, the Navy cruisers have transformed from Atlantic class to today's cruisers. The modern-day cruisers are defined as large surface warships built for high speed and great cruising radius, capable of not only defending its own fleet and coastlines, but also threatening those of the enemy. The United States and Russia are the only countries in the world which operate modern guided missile cruisers. The US Ticonderoga and Russian Slava class cruisers are two of the world's most formidable warships. Today, we'll compare these ships to see which class is better in terms of performance, defense, and firepower. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and have post notifications on so you don't miss future episodes. Number 1. The Ticonderoga class cruisers were originally planned as guided missile destroyers for the US Navy. These multi-role cruisers were primarily designed for the escort of carrier battle groups. Equipped with Aegis radar system, a single cruiser can defend an entire battle group. The US Navy currently operates 17 cruisers of this class. The overall length of the ship is 567 feet and the beam is around 55 feet. The displacement of a fully loaded American cruiser is 9,800 tons. Around 330 crew members are stationed on the warship. On the other hand, the Slava-class cruisers were specifically designed to kill aircraft carriers and offset the strength of the U.S. fleets. The less expensive Slava-class cruiser is a smaller alternative to the nuclear-powered Kirov-class battlecruisers. With the signature capability of anti-surface warfare, the ship served as flagships of various task forces. Originally, 10 cruisers were planned, but only three were completed. As of today, the Russian Navy operates only two cruisers of this class. The Slava class has an overall length of 612 feet and a beam of 68 feet. The displacement of the cruiser is 11,490 tons when fully loaded. The vessel can accommodate up to 529 crew members. Number 2. The American cruiser is powered by four gas turbine engines, generating 86,000 horsepower. These massive engines can propel the ship to a maximum speed of 33 knots. For rapid maneuvers and acceleration, the main engines are assisted by two additional controllable propellers. At a speed of 20 knots, the cruiser has a range of 6,000 nautical miles. However, the range is limited to 3,300 nautical miles at speeds of 30 knots. Whereas the Slava class is driven by four gas engines producing 120,000 horsepower. At maximum RPM, the cruiser can gain a top speed of 32 knots. For acceleration, the warship is powered by boost gas turbines as well. The ship has an operational range of 6,500 nautical miles at 18 knots and range of 2,500 nautical miles at 30 knots. Number 3. American cruisers rely on the AN SPY-1 phased array radar, which can track more than 800 targets within 200 nautical miles. The fire control radar assists ranged weapon systems to target, track, and hit a target. For anti-submarine warfare, the cruisers come with hull-mounted active search and attack sonar and passive towed array sonar. The sonar suite is integrated with Aegis combat system and can detect anti-ship mines at a depth of about 4,600 feet. On the other side, the Russian cruisers have MR-800 long-range air search radar system, which is paired with MR-700 radar system. This radar suite is considered one of the most accurate systems as it can detect and track targets within 200 nautical miles. The ship is also equipped with top dome missile guidance radar for missiles and kite screech gun control system for 130 mm cannon. For submarine tracking, the cruiser is outfitted with bullnose, hull mounted, and horsetail sonars. Number 4. The Ticonderoga is equipped with Aegis combat system capable of defending the entire battle group. The heart of this system is its phased array radar capable of detecting ballistic missiles. Aegis is so powerful that it can even destroy satellites in the Earth's lower orbit. There are two Phalanx close-in weapon systems to defend against incoming enemy aircraft and missiles. For further safety, the warship is installed with decoys and chaff launchers. The cruiser comes with two Seahawk helicopters for submarine and surface warfare whereas the Slava class is equipped with a naval version of S-300, which is armed with 64 long-range surface-to-air missiles. The missiles can even destroy ballistic missiles within 49 nautical mile radius. The warship is armed with 40 short-range tactical surface-to-air missiles. 
the cruiser is outfitted with six barreled radar-guided close-in weapon systems capable of firing 5,000 rounds per minute. The ship can defend itself with electronic warfare, decoys, and signal jammers. The Russian cruiser has a helicopter deck for landing a Ka-25 or a Ka-27 helicopter. Number 5. In terms of firepower, the primary armament of American cruiser is vertical launching system installed below the deck. It has several cells which hold a variety of 122 missiles, including long-range Tomahawk cruise missiles. The latest variant of Tomahawks can destroy both land and sea-based targets within 1,350 nautical miles. Eight harpoons are mounted at the rear of the ship. Once fired, these harpoons fly just above the water surface and can destroy their targets within 75 nautical miles. For anti-ship, the American cruiser is armed with evolved Sea Sparrow missiles. The warship is equipped with six torpedoes to engage hostile subs and ships. The cruiser comes with two 127mm naval guns with an effective range of 20 nautical miles. Finally, the warship is armed with 25mm and 12.7mm machine guns. On the contrary, the primary weapon of the Slava class is its 16 turbojet anti-ship missiles. These missiles are widely regarded as one of the most potent weapons against submarines and aircraft carriers. For targeting a battle group, the missiles are fired in a salvo of 16, half of which can target an aircraft carrier, while the remaining eight can destroy different escort ships. In case a missile is shot down, another one takes its place. The Russian cruiser is armed with a 130 mm twin-barreled gun. The Slava can engage both ships and submarines with its 533 mm torpedoes. The 24 rocket launchers engage submarines within a range of three nautical miles. The Slava class is larger and more heavily armed than its American counterpart. They also tend to have better armor protection, making them more resistant to enemy fire. However, the Ticonderoga class is better in terms of defense due to Aegis combat system and cutting-edge sensors. Both types of cruisers have similar speeds, however the Russian cruiser has better operational range. The Slava class definitively has the advantage on the offense, that's her primary role after all. Yet, her entire offensive salvo can be intercepted by less than one-fifth of what Ticonderoga carries to protect herself and the fleet. If that happens and the American cruiser has survived, Slava has no counter left and will be defeated one way or the other. If Ticonderoga was hit first, she's most likely a goner. So, what's your opinion? Which class of cruiser is better? The United States Ticonderoga class or Russia's Slava class? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.